the other section is talk about the force. So what is the force? The most basic idea, the force is a push of a pull on an object. So when we apply the force, it will turn the mode object. For example, if we pull the paper towel, the force apply it will pull the paper towel. Or it can also use to pull the door to open it or close it. And it can turn the tape. And it can press on a button. And it can shoot a basketball. Or it can turn the switch. So when the force is applied, usually we will result in some motion. Graphically, we usually use the arrow to represent the force, and the size of the arrow is representing the size of the force also. Let's consider the activity here. You can see there are two arrows marked on the diagram. Can you find what is the mistake made here? Now let's consider the first one. Is represent suppose it represents the force applied to kick on the football. But when you look at the arrow, it's wrong because the arrow cannot touch the football. If we use an arrow to represent the force on the football, then the arrow should start from the contact point between the foot and the football. And for the other one, the force is applied to pull up the seat. Because it, the force should pull up the zip, that's why the arrow should pointing up rather than pointing down here. Can you able to draw the force arrow in this two figure? The force is applied to push the trolley. So the force should apply at the handle of the trolley. And if we push the trolley forward, then the force arrow should be like that. And for the force applied to hold the bat, because the hold the bat, then it should apply between the hand and the bat. So that's why the arrow should put at that position. So a force is a push or pull on an object. Let's consider some more about the force. What is the effect of a force? If there is a force exists, what will happen? Now here we have seven examples to represent the effect of the force on the motion of the object. Now we can group it into four different type of effects. The first type of effect, we can think of it. Firstly, is cause an object to start moving. Is cause the moving object to stop. It cause an object to move faster or slower, or it cause an object to change the direction. So, the figure A represent the first effect that's caused the ball to move and the figure E to cause the object to stop and the figure B, D and F we're showing the force causing the object to move faster or slower and the C and G represents the force that change the direction of an object So let's summarize here. Here are the effects of the force. The force can change the speed of an object. What does it mean by change the speed of an object? That means it will move faster or slower after the force is applied. And it can cause an object at rest to start moving. Or it can cause a moving object to stop. It is the changing the speed. Sometimes the speed don't change, but the force can cause the change in the direction of the object. It is also another effect.
So once again, it can change the speed of the direction of the motion of an object.